Okay, so right now we are back down at Salt River. We just hung the stand up to kill the big deer we've had on camera, or Dylan's had on camera for the past two years. Dylan's up there trimming his lanes. We got the stand hung up. So we just put up a stand in the tree. We got a stand yesterday. We're looking over this bean field. I have a camera about 30 yards away just across the beans and we have a buck named Salty on it. I'd say he's like mid 160s. So should be pretty good, pretty excited to go. We'll see what happens. Success. Mm -hmm. September 26th, it's a cold one this morning. It's about the coldest morning we've had in the last few weeks for sure. Um, I think it's probably low to mid 50s right now. Um, it's gonna get warmer later today though, up to 90 I think, but we're out here just trying to put meat in the freezer. Fingers crossed something walks by. It's a good morning. First deer of the year, and she only went 30 yards. She was quartered away pretty hard, but it being that close of a shot, I knew it wouldn't matter, and she took it and went 30 yards and piled up, so. First deer of the year, and uh, glad to get this train rolling. Well, it was a great morning, obviously. We uh, got first deer of the year on the ground. Um, she came in almost right underneath me from behind and came right here to the trophy rock and uh, pretty hard quartering away shot but I knew that rage would blow right through her and it did and she went probably 30 yards and tipped over so got meat in the freezer and kicked it off. Back out in the same spot this evening. We sat here this morning and uh, saw a really nice buck. A buck we call New Ave. Um, had some history with him from last year. He came out in the far corner and he was too low to see the decoy out in the field. So move the decoy a little bit. We got plenty of shooters around here, so hopefully we can get one of these bucks to come into the decoy and put on a show for us. We'll see.
late because I had to go to a costume party for the baseball team, but there was a dope feed when we first got here. So I had to wait for her to feed off the field before we got back and all set up, but we got high pressure and a little, little bit of a breeze come out of the northwest, so pretty good for this set. And hopefully something comes and feeds in this little cove we got. Fingers crossed. All right, we have a 2021 archery buck. It's a 10 point that came on the farm mid-September and I had an encounter with him a couple weeks ago, actually just a few hundred yards up the field here. Um, he skirted around me 60, 70 yards, but he came in, read the script tonight and uh, gave me a perfect 25 yard shot and died just across the field. So couldn't be happier. Great Halloween buck, so that's always cool. Great night and to share it with dad was pretty cool too. So awesome night. All right, on the road heading north right now. Clay and Cooper already went up there earlier this evening, but uh, I got to practice, had a bite to eat, packed everything up and got on the road. So um, temps have been dropping in the last few hours now. It's already down to 38 right now. And it's gonna keep getting colder and colder. Tomorrow morning, we should be really good. And a lot of deer are gonna die up here in Missouri. So um, whether or not we get one, it should be a really good morning regardless. But we'll get up here, see all the guys are sending the guns and everything right now. So keep it posted, should be a really good morning. Excited for it. All right, so we're at Dillon's now. Clay, say hi. What up? We're heading out in the morning, opening day Missouri rifle season. I'm going to be hunting Salt River, hopefully. You can see Salty, deer that Dillon's been chasing. He's gracious enough to let me hunt one of his good spots. So I'm gonna go out here and see what we can do. Should be a really good morning. Temps dropping and wind's gonna stop. So let's get it.
Oh my god. I think I just reeled him. I'm 90% sure, 95% sure that's salty. The bug, the one buck I came in here to kill. Um, oh my god, I can't thank Dylan enough. I, I can't, oh my god. He's out there hunting with Megan, and he was gracious enough to let me come in here and hunt one of the biggest deer he has on the farm, and I'm pretty sure I just drilled him. Um, I can't thank him enough, oh my god, I'm, I'm shaking so bad. Okay, now that I've kind of calmed down and gathered myself a little bit, um, oh my god, he came in following a doe, um, I didn't even have time to do a, an interview beforehand or anything, um, he came in following a doe, just getting light, and I could just see a couple bodies moving through these trees right here, and I'm sitting in this little creek, took my climb in this little creek here, so I kind of see both sides of the field, and there were three or four deer on this left side, um, and I can see a really big body following a doe. And I look up and I, th I see that bladed G2 on his left side, which is what Salty has. So I'm really, I'm really hoping that's who it is. If it is, it'll be my, almost certainly my, my biggest deer yet. So, all right, we just got down. I was sitting in the tree, right back there, and uh, out here on the field edge. And he came out, following a doe, from that corner. All right, coming around this corner right here. Yeah. There's a dead deer right there in the middle of the field. Let's go! I don't know which deer it is, but I'm pretty sure it's salty. Right back there. Oh my God. Oh, there he is. It's him. It's salty. Oh. Oh. I don't even know what to say right now. Oh my god. <laughs> I cannot believe that. He didn't even make it out of the field. Holy moly. Oh my god. What a freaking deer. <laughs> It's a buck that Dylan calls Salty, and he hasn't shown up for a month or so, and I, <laughs> I'm not even sure what to say right now. Just a massive deer. I can't thank Dylan enough. I mean, wow. What a season.